Hey everybody and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Timo Hetzel on the left and Mark Packer-Hughes on the right. Timo flying Whisper, Sunterfell, and Vader versus Ray and Vinny. This is round one of the Kyber Cup. I see a bomb getting thrown already. Vinny. Yep, looks like he throws it. Um, reloads immediately, just going to clear out some space in front of him. We got an interesting deployment up at the top left from Timo. A nice little angle for Sunterfell. I believe that helps you trigger bullseye arc abilities more often if you have that odd angle. See an early target lock from Vader. Is there jam over here? We got Ray with Rose, so you can get a target lock. Spinning a dice. Corsella, so you can relieve a bunch of stress all at the same time. Doing a blue maneuver fin, so you can add a blank when shooting in the front arc. Contraband, so you can perform actions while stressed. Stealth device. It's as good, if not better, and the same price as a shield device or a shield upgrade on ray and then the falcon title giving you the boost and turret rotate actions even while stressed vinny gonna be chucking bombs with trajectory simulator has protons and seismics we already saw one seismic this turn clearing some space um page is really nice after you perform a primary attack you may drop one bomb or rotate your turret we'll probably be seeing that happening happening a lot shoot Rotate the turret. You can do it either with the front arc primary or the mobile arc. So it's going to be tough to, to dodge. Um, veteran turret gunner, you get to shoot twice. Yeah. Perceptive co-pilot for the double focuses because Vinny's ability involves... Um, while you defend, if the attacker is in a friendly ship's mobile arc, so yours or Ray's, uh, you may spend one focus result. You may add one focus result to your roll and adding results... Pretty good. So you've got one base defense, plus stealth device, plus the ability to add a focus. So could be looking at three evades on that Vinny. Um, and that makes Vinny extremely tanky. Has pattern analyzer so can stop and double focus. We'll see how Mark utilizes it here. Mini with the one bank gets rid of that stress. There are other versions of this Vinny. If you don't have Ray in the list, you can have Ray Gunner. Um, there are optics versions so that you can use your focuses on your blanks. This is not that version. The cloak on Whisper. Three bank left from Vader. Just a fire control Vader, not afterburner. We are at 197, so only three points left in that list. Probably thanks to stealth device Juke Whisper. Bets are alive. Let's see what what are the bets looking like. You got 13 on Timo, 21 on Mark. Yeah, this, this is a very scary list to approach with aces, the double tapping Vinny, who can turn the arc. Um Ray, also very, very consistent. Who won that? Yeah, Mark's got player one. Ray's going to move first. Ace is going to have a chance to move after and reposition. So it looks like Vader top of the board, threatening a little flank. Whisper's got the middle. 
Could slow roll stay cloaked. We'll see about that. Stressed Sunter fell. Fastest blue is a four. And then all of your twos. Ray's okay with that, though. She likes to know her sloops are clear. Good point. Vinny. Gonna chuck a bomb here. Seismic. Does he have fuses? No. Stealth device. There's the throne seismic. Should have a choice between both. It's a little, a little far on that debris. Decloak left and backwards from Whisper. Oh man, Vinny's gonna be removing a lot of the uh, the obstacles these aces might want to hide behind. There's the stop. Pattern Analyzer double focus. One bank from Ray. Not too close to those obstacles, so looking pretty good. Has the option to turn left after... Um, after Sutra fell, if need be. Whisper with the one bank. A little close to that debris. Should be safe. Recloaks. Vader with the one bank. Oh man, if you can reach the debris, blow that up. Maybe you hit Whisper, but next turn you can throw... Actually, does he have another seismic? Yes. Still has one seismic, so... Um, can throw a seismic next turn, hit the gas cloud, which is going to make... Vader, think twice. We'll see. The, the seismic has to reach that debris first. Turn in from Sunterfell. Hard two. Can he get close enough with a bank boost? Barrel roll left, boost forward. We will see. Thinking about that approach. Just takes a focus. When in doubt, focus it out. So, seismic going to go off. Ooh, only hits the gas. All right. Well. Nothing for Sutra Fell to do. So back to dials. All right. Here is your approach. The bet's just... Close. Yeah, okay. Can't stop again with Vinny. If you're looking at the blues, one forward, one bank. I don't think you're going to do two, but you could. But again, you've got 180 degree of, uh, degrees of arc, so you'd love to utilize that front arc. But you could just one forward. Need to make sure you don't get in Ray's way. Ray could hard turn towards Sunterfell and 
you know, worst comes to worst, you shoot out the back. Slightly over 270. You're right. Bad math on my part, Paul. Thank you very much. That is that is more than 180 degrees. <laughs> Greg from Nickel City. Gifting some subs here. Thank you very much. Enjoy those subs, guys. We're very, very, very close to uh, partnership on Twitch. So hopefully I will have new emotes for you soon. Dehet. Thank you for the sub as well. Five months. Wow, wow, wow. Sage words from Greg there. I appreciate it. So who's the last to get dialed in here? We got we're all set over there on Mark. Timo double checking. Sign of a good player. D cloak left and backward from Whisper. Whisper will have to move before Vader. So I'm gonna double check that. Is that where you wanna be? Can you complete your one bank from that position, maybe? goes straight all right man all right just goes one forward with Vinny spreading those arms out who am I gonna shoot four forward with Ray, oh boy. The one bank from Whisper looks pretty scary. Goes for the big brain boost and gets the block on Whisper. That keeps Whisper in the front arc of Vinny, which means Vinny could double tap. Now it's still range three, so some advantages there for Whisper. Vader's coming in. Rolling out. Wants to make sure he's not in the back arc of Ray. Roll. Target lock focus. Sunter fell. Three bank. Already has the bullseye lined up. Now in my mind, I'm already sure that Vinny is shooting Whisper. So I would be taking more chances with Sooner, but you also got to think about next turn. You want more room to maneuver. Oh man, this is stealth device, Vinny. So it's going to be one plus stealth device plus range plus the Vinny focus. Maybe I'd shoot with Vader first, try and get that stealth device off. Nope. Gonna predator the focus. I think he's being a little too careful there. Oh well. Two hits. That should be easily dodged because you only need one. He's gonna add the Vinny focus. Just to waste some time. <laughs> no, trigger all your abilities. Uh spends one focus. Now, the nice thing is if you shoot Vinny 
more than two times, he's probably spending all of his focus. Here's hit crit. I'm going to fire control that blank. And spin the force point or the focus? Spins the focus. Keeps the force points. Hit it crit. Hit crit crit thanks to advanced targeting computer. So it'll be one for Vinny plus stealth device. And then we'll add a focus. He's already added the focus. I'm going to spin the focus there. Take one. So stealth device is gone. How many points is that on Vinny? Let's pull up a... Uh, pull up old Yasby. Yeah, Whisper's got a shot. But... Ray would shoot first. Ray doesn't have any... Anything to shoot at? Ooh, Whisper. Two hits does not have fifth brother, so that's going to stay that way. Stealth device is four. Okay. Prevented two damage, so worth it, yeah. It's it's the same price as a shield and saved you from two damage, so it paid for itself. Um, yeah, it takes two on Vinny. Didn't have the focus there. And that's kind of what you have to do with Vinny is shoot. You have to get the focus gone, uh, and then you can push some damage through. Now, the problem with that is, the other problem with that is, uh, now you have no mods for your shot into Whisper. There's a single crit. There's Whisper. This is Stealth Device Whisper at range. Oh! Okay. That was a very bad Whisper roll, but had one of the evades left over from that primary landing. Now Vinny's got to decide... Do you page Tico and rotate the mobile arc to the front? Or do you just shoot something out the side? You have a better chance of hitting Vader at range 2 with a single force point. Maybe even force him to spin that force. Because it's a 2v3 here. Or a 2v4 again. And Whisper still got an evade. One hit. Two evades. All right. Let's get rid of these. All right, back to dials. And that was a better round than I thought it would be for Timo. The block looked bad on Whisper, but Ray had no shots. So it was just Vinny shooting. Vinny shoots late, had to shoot without any mods. Probably see Ray turn around this turn, I imagine. A sloop left. So we've got two protons and a seismic left on Vinny. Uh, you could throw a seismic onto that center debris. Maybe you catch Soonter. Maybe you catch Whisper. Or you could drop a proton out the back. Try and catch Vader. Uh, 
Uh, Whisper had two of eight, so she she had one from the Stygium array and then one from hitting. Spent one, kept the other, so is cloaked. So let's talk about that decloak. Can't go forward. There's a large base in front of you. Can't go left because there's a debris there. Can you go left and forward? Could Whisper go left and forward? I don't think so. So if you know where Whisper is going to decloak, what do you do about it? I want to throw a seismic onto that debris. Maybe even stop double... What? <laughs> Here it is. Yep. Yeah, I like that seismic. So now I'm thinking you're going to stop with Vinny. There's the decloak from Whisper. Ooh, hard one. Really wants to catch Sunterfell. And he's going to let Sunterfell do whatever he wants, right? He's probably doing a two forward. And there's no way you get out of arc. There's the sloop from Whisper, or from <laughs> Ray behind Whisper. Can still booster barrel roll, or booster, boost, or... Rotate that turret, and you're not going to rotate with Ray. Oh, triple stress now. I forgot, hadn't relieved that stress yet. There's the turn away and the barrel roll. That, sh so that should be far enough. Vader is very happy with this position. Rolls. Did you roll into arc? Yeah, there's the two forward from Sunterfell. And the nice thing here is now you're only taking two shots, which is... Actually, Vader may have actually given Vinny his ability with that roll. Because if Vader had... St uh, he might have been trying to get away from Ray. So you're probably taking Ray, uh, the Vinny ability no matter what. If you're in Ray's arc, that gives Vinny the ability. If you're in Vinny's arc, mobile arc, you give it as well. The block into a proxy mine. Oh, there are no proxy mines. Proton bomb. All right. Evade, roll forward. Maybe getting away from the debris. <laughs> Vinny is the only thing taking damage from the seismic. Rip. Eight hole left. Uh, Sunderfell, no bullseye. Vader. Range two. 3v... 1 plus 1, maybe? Spins the focus for hit it crit. Check for the arc. Nope. You don't want to check that side arc? He's got it. Oh well. Moniker, thank you for the sub. Let's see what that crit is. Loose stabilizer. This should be down to five. Wants both focus for offense. Maybe. 
may be. One hit. And Vinny doesn't get the his ability here because the um, Sinterfell's not in the mobile arc. So, okay. Takes one. Down to four. <laughs> two hits and two crits mike keeping up with the pandy brethren resubs for 20 months yikes do you get a title belt for that here's a structural damage a disabled power regulator and here's a double tap from veteran turret gunner uh <laughs> oh boy That's half points and probably a dead Sutra fell now that it's 3v2. That is structural damage, right? Yeah. Two hits. You don't need to reroll outside of the dice box. It doesn't, I mean. So Sutrafell is dead. R.I.P. Yeah, how do you rotate the arc after shooting with Vinny? Page Tico, baby! Pretty spicy upgrade. Is that a one shot or two? That's two. That's two attacks. Come on. There wasn't a, a question before the match started about whether Sunterfell would get one shotted. Nah. Triple stressed ray, probably gonna do a blue maneuver. Does Whisper turn in and try and finish off? Ray or finish finish off Vinny with Vader. Let's take a look at that. Oh boy, two banks. So if you're thinking a two bank is incoming from Ray, how are you preparing for that with Vader? Forty-five minutes left. Fifty-six to forty-nine. It is a seven-point game. Wow. Um, Vinny's got stabilizer. He'll probably turn anyway. One bank right, maybe. Um, so going to be down to three. Ooh. Then he's trying to be tricky. But I feel like Vader's going to run that way anyway to get away from Ray, so I don't know that you've juked a whole bunch. And if Vader is not heading into the corner, he's going to bank, which you didn't dodge that either, so. Hmm. 
I'll roll for the strain. Takes one. Hmm. That two bank from Ray. Thinking about the boost. Goes for it. There aren't any afterburners on Vader. He could still three bank out of that. It's the one hard turn from Whisper. Maybe that was the goal for Vinny, is just get far enough that. At least you're safe from one shot. Oof. Yep. Gets dodged by the three bank from Vader. We should just be able to initiative kill Vinny here. Yeah, that, that bank boost was bad. It gave Vader an out. He must have thought that Vader was going to come for Rey. I, I don't know. Um, fire control. And a focus because nothing's shooting you, right? Yeah, that's a dead Vinny. All right, Ray. Got some work to do. Not impossible, but it is going to be tough. All right. 41 minutes left. It is now a 41-point game. I think Timo's drawing the, hey, if you just stayed here, it might have been... I, I think that's, that's important when you're playing versus aces. It's keeping that arc wide. Don't assume you know where they're going to be and get in close, because the closer you get, the more easily your arc is to be dodged. Do you just sloop here with Ray? Sloop left. Ray with two enormous arcs, having not shot anyone feels bad. You're right. I, I didn't realize 40 minutes left in the game and Ray hasn't shot. Was a very expensive blocker early on. There's the sloop and the boost. Not bad. Four K from Vader. Ray's gonna have some shots, but also gonna be taking some. This is Stealth Device Ray. Ray. 
Looking at Vader. So it'd be two plus stealth device plus range for Whisper. Or three plus one for range four for Vader. Whisper's got more defensive mods, although would probably be reticent to drop that evade on anything. If you get rid of that evade, that means no juke. Vader doesn't have a lock on Ray right now, so you're not really worried. That shot isn't going to be huge this round. So I think he's going into Whisper. Add a fin blank. Probably target lock with rose and re-roll that blank. Try and keep your force points. There you go. Three hits. Four evade dice for Whisper. Spins the focus. So you've neutered that attack a little bit. Vader's only got a two dice primary, so... Didn't do any damage. You made the attacks coming at you a little worse. We'll see if that matters. One hit, two evades. Spins an evade dice to target lock Whisper. And Vader opts not to shoot. I think he sees that target lock from Rose as too much of a too much of an issue. Now, Vader stressed so you could probably pretty safely move towards him hmm Vader's got one and two banks Two and three forward. So if he wants to take a lock, that's what he's going to have to do. It'd be nice to move towards Vader, force a block. Vader's probably going to two bank right. It's relatively safe. I don't know what Ray can do to challenge that. Go over there, get a lock, turn around. Um, Whisper. Let's look at that. You have a two forward that's blue. I might just two bank towards Whisper. Hope Whisper either goes past and you can shoot out the back or bumps into you. I don't think Vader's gonna stick around, but we'll see. Oh, I think Timo's showing him that he's got contraband cybernetics. He could have done a sloop in front of Vader if he wanted to. Yeah. 
Ray two forward. Ugh. This looks bad. Timo's flexing. Yeah, he, he's showing his opponent what he could do. <laughs> And I don't know that there's a boost that makes this safe. Eh, maybe that's good, because like even a one bank from Whisper wouldn't allow Whisper to barrel roll and get you. Ooh, never mind. Whisper's already got you. Does bank in with Vader? Does he have a shot? No, he does not. So Ray's going to actually get to shoot first. Range one into Vader. Rolls to get a little further away. Did Ray dodge all arcs? I think Whisper's got Ray in arc. But hey, Ray's gonna get to shoot. You don't get all the fin tricks. Move it. You yeah, can't use Ray out the back. You can use Rose, though, right? Yeah. Spins the lock, gonna reroll the blank. Saving it? Nope. One evade. One eyeball spins the force point for two. Here's the range one whisper shot. Hit crit. Hey, and two dice, right? Because of stealth device. So he could dodge this. Has two force points. Doesn't need him. Natty evades from Ray. Takes nothing. All right, we're going to see a sloop. No doubt. Thirty minutes left. Still a forty-one point game. Undamaged Whisper Invader. Better use your contraband next turn. Loop left or go right, pop contraband and boost. I would not boost here. Well, a boost left might be our, yeah. That, that, that's actually 
pretty good. That's hard to dodge. Does a barrel roll out? <laughs> Did I say hard to dodge as Whisper is going to barrel roll right and dodge that arc? But, I mean, you wouldn't have had Whisper if you hadn't boosted it anyway. You do have Vader here. Here's Vader. Three dice with the lock. Blank, blank focus. Spins the lock and the focus for hit it crit. Now this is two dice Ray who can add a blank. So that's not a guaranteed hit. Yeah, and you can add a blank. You can mod both of those if you want to keep your stealth device around. Oh, he's going to spin the blank for the lock and take the damage. Yep, Stealth of Ice is gone. So he'll be throwing 3v3 with a target lock and a force point. Three v three. Spin that. Well, you can mod blank, so spin the. L oh, he's gonna add a blank and then target lock both, maybe. It's gonna feel bad if it's. Two blanks. It'll it'll still be three. Oh my god! Hey, you get one through. Takes one on Vader. <laughs> Don't you put that on me. Don't put that on me. Pretty bad shot there from Whisper. Does have Juke online. Doesn't need it. Takes one. Oh. Yeah, didn't didn't take one on didn't use the ray force to put one through on Vader. Huh. Ark has definitely not played much death ray. I, yeah, I don't know. Um this is going to be a trial by fire though cuz Timo is a very tough opponent. Let's take a look at our ladder. It looks like Mark Packer Hugh was um, top eight in Camino Chaos. Uh, that was the weird uh, clone game mode. Okay. Let's see if we can find a regular tournament. 
see what other types of things he likes to fly. All right, we are maneuvering. Looks like another sloop. Using contraband. Ah, okay. Takes a focus. Already has a lock on Vader. And has those two force points. So whatever is in front of Ray could end up getting hurt pretty good. Did Vader make it out? No, he did not. Does a roll right and forward get you the rest of the way? He's going to go for a lock. Spin a force point. Roll right and forward. Does he make it out? I think so. Yeah, I think he's safe. There's the ray shot into Whisper. Hit crit. Spin the blank for a lock. Reroll that blank. And spin the focus. You got the force. Spin. Hmm. He spins the force there. Keeps the focus for defense. I guess you've got multiple evade dice, so... Uh, oh, boy. Two evades plus the token. Well, no recloak on Whisper. Unless Whisper hits you. Spins the focus for hit, crit, crit. On to Whisper. No stealth device, so it'll be two dice plus the blank from Finn. Yeah, add it. Get a target lock. Use Ray. Take one. Still using those dice to get the target lock, and yeah, there's the shield. So shieldless now. All right. 20 minutes left, 56 to 97, still 41 point game. No more contraband tricks. Let's go ahead and take that out of the overlay. You gotta do a blue maneuver. Probably a talent roll from Vader. Already has the lock. Not much. Of it. Uh, I mean, you could bank right with Ray and threaten Vader with a back arc. Two bank right, yeah. I think that's a good idea.
there's that bank towards Whisper. I like that. There's the Talon. Range three. Fire control. Force point. Hit crit crit. Should be two. Yeah. Oh, two natural evades. You don't need to... This ain't GSP Sun. Yeah. At least in the digital realm. Not concerned with. I can see what the results are. Maybe they agreed on it ahead of time. But the problem is they're in my room. And it's written explicitly on the table. You don't need to do that. Um, but it's fine. I think Timo changed it to an evade form. Direct hit into Ray. Down to six. Here's Ray's shot back innovator. Pretty lackluster. No free blank from Finn out the back. Could move the target lock. Have you lined up another Teemo game? We have. Uh, Teemo Rob will be on stream next with his Kyber match. Looks like Ray opts to keep that target lock over there on Whisper. Is free to sloop again. Double the fun. Yeah, double your pleasure. Double your fun. Got a stressed Vader. I mean, two forward. I think your three forward is blue as well. If you're expecting Ray to sloop and you really want to get up there to shoot, you could three forward.
Whisper with the decloak right and backwards. There's the three sloop from Ray goes right. I definitely thought she would go left, but this looks good. Please don't boost. Okay. Now imagine if you hadn't boosted. How different things would be. There's Vader with a two bank barrel roll focus. Two shots in the ray, who's got six hull left. Uh, this one's range two. Oh boy. Natties. One evade. Can spend a force point for another. And should be taking one crit, right? Spending one dice for a target lock. Wounded pilot. Yep, just has Vader. Two force points and the target lock. But boy, Ve uh, Timo's just done a great job of staying out of range one. Because the best way to hurt these Imperial Aces is to roll more attack dice than they get evade dice. But Timo's just not allowed that to happen. Here's four dice. Could we be watching it happen right here? He could have modded both of those. All right, spin the four. All right, here it is. <laughs> There's the four dice I was talking about. I was already forgetting about Finn. Two evades. So it takes two crits. Shields down on Vader. The range one from Whisper spins the focus. Hit, crit, crit. You can evade one of these. None of your Finn shenanigans. Spin the force point. Take two crits. Or don't. What is that crit? It is a fuel leak. Not great with advanced targeting computer on the board.
All right. Under nine minutes left, 56 to 148. Big old 92-point lead. Just can't put damage through on these aces. I mean, two shields on... On Vader's pretty good. And a little tougher this round. I mean, two bank left. Isn't Ray at two? Oh, am I... Did I not add the damage? I think I might have just added the crit and... Yeah. Yep. You are right. Scott was there for the finals and then immediately forgot the lists that were there. My bad. Fuel leak, yeah. So one damage from Vader, he's already got the lock there, should be the game. Fixes. I don't know what he. Uh, not fuel leak or wounded. The other one. So Vader bumps, it'll be Ray into Whisper. Is that range one? It is, but you don't get the Ray shenanigans. There's still three shields on Whisper. Three hits. Uh, Ray can avoid one of those, right? So that's that's game. Why two dice? Oh, this is Mark shot first. This is the range one from Ray first. My bad. I know who's got player one. Uh, three hits into Whisper, who spends all the tokens. Here's the real shot. Was that range two? Ray had Whisper at range one, but Whisper has Ray at range two. That'd be hard to pull off in real life. Um, one crit, one evade. All right, back to dials. Sloop again, maybe? Four minutes. Last turn or two in this first round of the Kyber Cup. Mm-hmm. 
Three sloop right. Another stress. Don't boost. Don't boost. Stop. <laughs> I mean, Vader just hard turns out of that. Whisper barrel rolls. Let's see, can you are you close enough to barrel roll? No, I'm just gonna stay there. Here's the Vader shot range one. Should be able to initiative kill. Yeah, if yeah, the crit goes through, the fuel leak goes off, and that is it. Yep. All right, GG. Congratulations to Timo winning his first round match of the Kyber Cup. Thank you to Mark for playing on stream. Glad to see that uh, that Vinny out there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. That'll do it for this one. Until next time, this is Scott from Hexile Gaming, signing off.